Here's another adventure in the continuing saga uh, series. We're uh, fixing what somebody else started and uh, they had a problem here with the floor breaking through so they put in uh, some of the wood they needed to do. We're going to end up putting wood across the ends um, just so it won't move in between there. But while we were here, she asked me if I could uh, raise the ductwork up a little bit and so it wouldn't be close to the ground, which is, this house gets water underneath it. And then she asked me, could I swap the stove over to where the refrigerator was? And that means moving water line for the refrigerator over here. And so we had to shut the water off and we're going to drill a hole through the floor and uh, put in water line over here. The most important and the thing we will pay the most attention to is moving the gas over to there. And uh, we've got all the parts for it. And uh, then we're dealing with puddles of water underneath. So here we are. And uh, maybe we'll take you with a GoPro like camera underneath with the young guys. I am have a hard time watching a lot in handing tools but i have to let these guys grow in skill level or else they will have not learned anything while working with me but seeing that it can be done but when they do it they know it can be done so that's why i have to sit back and be patient and like no do it this way anyway uh that's what we're doing well you got, you got more light now why don't you get one of those uh lights we've got work lamps uh, it'll be nice for when we get to the gas. Okay. Uh. Oh, no, anyway. Oh, depends where am I? Which one of these you say it was? This one that I'm following? This this one, if you, I would follow this one. This one? Okay. So go up in this bag here? Yeah. Or on the other side of the bay. Or on this, on this side. Okay, that's all I needed to know is which side I want to. Now you can see. We're at the lowest point again. I don't really mind it. Usually I don't mind it much when it's not wet. When it's wet, I'm kind of yeah about it, but yeah. Okay, I'll try not to hit you. Very good. I have to cut this, but they get it over and out now. Once the blue light goes, you're crimped. Slide that tree till I found the right one. Okay, and he said this bay here. No, over one. This bay here. That way. This bay. Here. Yeah, right there. Okay. So I'm gonna need a 90.
What? Where are you? Right there. You're supposed to be heading toward the... That's what he's doing right now. I'm right here. Oh, okay. I'm 90 in at this point right here. Why are you 90 in? Why don't you just go at an angle? There's something in the way? There's, There's cylinder blocks. Cylinder blocks all over. It's the only reason I went with the 90. So I was going to just try and bend it around. Did you not find the light? Uh, no, she gave me that one. Wow, it's bright. Oh, yeah. Oh, I imagine whenever I've turned it on, I was staring at it. It's too light. It's too light. It's bright, but it takes a getting used to. I'm going to zip up my pocket. I'll be dropping stuff. It'll be good right there. You know how far I need to go that way? Yeah, I don't remember yeah, which way I was going to the camera. How far? Yeah. What are you talking about? Um, it's about two foot from... Here, I'll go stand by that wall. How about that? Let me get this side of the hole and go back. Did you... No, we didn't have any water on Well, well, we're there, we're there. Yeah. I need to put rain on my glasses again. What's that? I gotta put rain on my glasses again. They're starting to get to the point where they're fogging up. Yeah. All right. I think so. Keep coming. I mean, well, that's great. I didn't hold anything. Glasses are fogging up. That's what the problem is. He's, he's like, you've been taking my uh, Amex Rain X to keep your glasses are fogging up. You can turn that over. So, are you where it needs to be? Yeah. So when you get sweaty, the if you can pass me the cutter, I can cut it too. And I'll cut it right. Should we put it right next to the gas line where it is and go up to that existing hole? Or? Yes, she does. Because where the gas line is at, where it's going up, where you're at, is in the wall. Well, we can go to right here where the wall isn't. Uh, right there's where the this is the wall. That's not the wall. So hold on, I think I was watching you. Fifty-eight. Yeah, a couple in there. Yep. All right. Five months. June. Oh, you're gonna be fifty-nine in June, yeah. Where okay. are we going now? So, you want to the, the, the existing hole in the wall? No. 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 you want to go up right where We're going to make a hole through the floor. Do you want to go up right next to it? Do you want to come up here and just go ahead and do that? Yeah, that'd make it easier. That come way I've got a point to head to. Because right now, it's just kind of softly getting in the air again. I'm going to record you going. <laughs> 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 All right, so. Are you going to need to move that, the furniture right there? We're going to take the stove and move it. Yeah, the furniture. I got down there long enough. Uh, right here. Oh. This, but we're going to make a hole up here to where I've got a uh, way to direct. Uh, no, I don't think so. so it's possible. We'll see. Because the line is right there. The gas line. Yeah, we'll, get on, we'll be taking that apart shortly. and I'll be able to answer you on that. What we will have to do whenever we get over here is we'll have to move that cabinet over so that your range will be over your... So, let me try to empty those things. The third tile over. You can be where. Well, here's the glasses if somebody wants to use. Safety glasses, Drew? Safety glasses for do you not have nothing in your eyes? Alright. Uh, I just drill a half inch hole in the back area. Well, I'd knock out the grout so you don't drill the bit. It's like, the you can do it right. I don't know where you're at. I'm in the third tile set. So, over. first thing you do is take the gas line loose from the stove, move the stove out of your way. Let me fix my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you got that young professional look there. Now OSHA will be slightly. Yeah. <laughs> I'll report to OSHA that you did a good job. <laughs> uh, we got channel locks here? Yes, right there by your feet. Okay. Should have been a snake and a bit you. <laughs> well, he'd have had to bite me in the right spot. If he'd have bit me on the toe, it would have just hurt his teeth. Hey. Take it loose from over there. Saw this lady on TikTok. Oh, 
back door to our house and there's 30 raccoons all right there. Holy cow. And she goes, oh, they're, they're pets. I can pet them. And she starts petting one. She They'll sees, bite you. And she goes, the other one, and the other one bites. <laughs> they're not very uh, friendly. They can... We used to have a big coon, 30 pounds. Took a while to catch him or kill him. I guess he's caught when he's dead. But uh, used to raise hound dogs, red bone, and uh, blue tick. We had a lot of puppies thinking that that's one of my dad's ideas of getting enough money to get, survive. Well, they all chase after the coon. And the coon take him out into the middle of the creek, and those puppies would get out there to get him. He'd, he'd get on top of them and hold on, drown him. So just about every time they went after the coon or the bobcats, they'd lose a dog. Some birds, but I have poop yeah, I do too. I had to, I have used this paste that works the best. Paste? Yeah, it's like a you squeeze it out out of a hypodermic looking thing, uh -huh. and it kills. It, they eat it, and it takes it to the other ones. They when they die, the other ones eat them, and it kills them. And it, it takes about ten days to work really good, but it cleans them out for a while. Where where do you buy them? Uh, do you buy those? They get them at Lowe's. I think so. I'm in the coffee tube now. Yeah, the stuff that does paste works best. Yeah. I never had before, but uh, since the lady moved in the house, yeah. she was living in there and then she moved. And then I think they came to here and then they started having fun. And I think they are. Well, they, they are like fleas. They, they yeah. have a lot of eggs. And I don't see for a little while and there's fleas. It's with one and it's not coming again. Yeah, that paste works best. I usually order it online. It's like $25, uh -huh. but it'll last for almost a year. Oh. See, I need a pantry real bad to put all my stuff. You're good. Are you on the opposite side? You're going the right direction, but I think you were putting a lot of pressure on the pipe wrench instead of the. I'm going to get another pipe wrench. So turn it up. Turn the top one. Oh. You got a big enough one? I can get a bigger one. Yes, you can. <sighs> yeah, we do all the sound effects for our own movies. I can't fix it. We have a whole list you can pull through. 30,000 sound effects or something. I'm giving that one away. You know why? Oh. Need for something. Mm, no, I'm looking for bookshelves now. Bookshelves? I'm probably going to make some. It looks like it went to a... Is it really hot in here? No, it's because you're moving around. That's not hot. I'm going to go to the yard sale to see if I can find like a corner cabinet or yeah. something like that. You need a pantry. I need a pantry here, though. Mm -hmm. Where we can put the pantry? Right there. Yeah. On that one I see in low was like $240. That's not terrible. Mm -hmm. That's not terrible. But you could probably go to unit that uh that's you restore you know Habitat for Humanity Humanity Restore. Yeah. I used you can to look on that. your phone. Yeah. Yeah. It used to be on J Street. Yeah, but I have to have my husband to go with me because he has a Turn that so she can walk through there. And um if I go, I cannot do anything in the car. Thank you. All of the chisel drill. I mean, I don't think you can come up. No, I wouldn't. So what you do is you take and you chisel out an area in that grout, which is plenty wide right there. Yeah. 
and then uh, tap it, break out that grout, and then drill through okay. with a half inch paddle bit. Yeah, right. fit to the grout? Might be a little bit more than a half inch. Huh? Maybe five yeah. to the grout? Yeah, but you don't want to use a, the bit on That's cement because it'll end up dulling. You gotta spray water on it. Yeah. Well, it just dull it all out. You'll end up not having one very long. Guys, I guess you're going to not see everything that we had to go through to get this done, but we are putting it together, stitching the wood together. So, there you go. We're back. Hey, well, we, we uh, have another little project job. Uh, they want this cabinet to be centered over this stove. This, cab this cabinet is 36 inches, stove is 30. So what I've done, in order to center the cabinet, I made a mark for the center of the cabinet over there, and I made a mark for the center of the stove right here. And then I marked where the layout of the studs, this is be a stud right here, where they fasten to, you can see the screw. And I've measured 16, there'd be another, so I'll be able to get at least two screws in there. As you can tell, they were pretty far out of level. This is a four foot level, and uh, we're gonna drop it down so that we're even at the top of those cabinets instead of having that jog. And then we've got to run a, a wire up in here about two and a quarter inches above and then go through the back and come in here to feed this. So that's what we're up to. This has a screw right here that takes this cover. You notice this little tab. So once you take this screw off, it'll be able to get where the wire goes into this. And uh, we're probably going to try to go through that back instead of going through the cabinet. See if we can cut drywall and stuff like that. That go over top and then put this over top of it. And uh, connect to the hot there and the neutral there. Turn the ground on that. And we've got to get a bulb. Yeah. Uh, we've got these screws. So I'm not sure if this is for mounting. Yeah, they would want, that's what you mount right here onto the cabinets. Okay. And slide it on. So we'll take you through it. Yeah. Same place. This line right here, the center of this cabinet, is right. right there. Right there, stay on that line that's low. I'll just leave those in there because that filled a hole in. And oh, yeah, I'll let it get all of it. Um, Can't get your screws, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna go. I got it. Go ahead and run it. Right well, right there. Inch and a half? No, inch and a half won't be enough. Hi. Good morning. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Got on the ground, Ah. Do you need no guts? No, nobody did, but we checked everything. We're going to, I'm going to put some sealing on that one in the, in the middle of the wall just to make sure. Mm -hmm. But we checked everything several times. Mm -hmm. So. It's good to be alert, good to be worried. And then I went to sleep and I, would, I dreamed that I have all my grandkids in here and, and I was dying because everybody yeah. was dying because of the gas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we just got through working on the house over in Springdale. It mm. had holes. Here, just put it on there. We got the cabinet. Yep. Maybe on two foot centers. Yeah, and I'll man. have a. And the joists are real far apart. That'd be real far. Four joists are, so that's, maybe the, that's the framing wondering. is too. We shall see shortly. Yep. Two foot centers. You got another one? Well, 
looks really close. Oh. Hit here. Okay. Uh, I need another screw or two. It ain't going nowhere. But I know I have one here. We're measuring the depth here, but that hole needs to be right there about five and a quarter, looks like three quarters of an inch down. And how much? How far over? Yeah, but you're going to be measuring from the center. So you need to find the center on that. Which is uh, 15. It's 29 and three quarter. <laughs> so, no pencil in either one of us. I got one laying around here somewhere. My goodness, I don't know. Alright, screw gun. Mark, mind your center. Or you can, then, well, and then go back to it. I got to calculate half of 29 and 3 quarter. I can't just. It's a quarter inch less than 15. So, that'd be 14 and 3 quarter. Seven and three quarters over from the center, three quarters down. Okay. <sighs> so to put the plastic, the kind of floor that my son in law brown. That's what we gotta get to. But now, this center over here, this is the end of the cabinet, of the hood vent. Uh, so, is there a stud on that stud too? So I have to drill through the stud. Yeah, we'll have to open up, go over here, and then the, I'll have to cut a hole mm -hmm. with a keyhole saw there. And in reality, you could. Uh, <laughs> it's just gonna be. We got a keyhole saw. There's a the side of the stud here. The keyhole saw up here. Uh -huh. So you can get your that. little hand in there. My hand take a bigger hole. And then we got to drill over. Then we have a hole up here that we're going to cut out. And then fish it through. Right. So far, we've done a lot of work and didn't have the camera going, so I apologize. But we drilled a hole through the two by here, fished it up into this area, we had a hole up in here we could get our hand up in. And then fished it over to here, which is where the junction box is. So all that is, all those holes are covered up by this area. And this one, we put a piece of plywood in there, uh, a piece of wood, and then screwed it off so that we can finish that out, or they can. Uh, they, they're kind of wanting to do as much as they can do to save money. So the wiring is, the cover's back on, the, the wiring's in there, lights on fans on and uh, we just got to clean up the dust uh, and uh, that is, there's that project we're on to another project next great big adventure uh, we have a little bit of a dilemma but they want to move this cabinet that's here here so that sits right on top of a vent which I would lay odds uh, this used to be the hallway, but anyway, I don't care. Um, so we're going to cover that vent. What we're going to do is build a box around it and have a vent in the front of the cabinet, which we got the cabinet over here and we're going to cut the little skinny vent in and build a box in here for the air to blow out to the main house, to the vent in the front. And not be trapped underneath the cabinet and then not have any heat in the kitchen. So what I've done is measured from, since it's up, going to be up against, I've measured from the stove and it's 17 and a half 
and I'm going to run on the floor 17 and a half and 30 and five and a half inches over. All in will they pull that vent cover off and I'll put a different vent cover right here. So right now, I'm a, I said 17 and a half and 30. Mm -hmm. So. And so we'll have to build a frame in here so that uh, probably what we'll do is put a two by and screw it together on the back side, uh, maybe at five and a half inches, which would be from the back side here. And uh, that'd be the front side of our two by. It's pretty rotted. This thing's been wet. We'll put screws through here to hold it in place on the two by all the way across and then I'll run a two by in between here so it'll be sitting flat on the floor and uh, then I'll have the vent hole cut in here and it will blow vent theoretically out which I know it will and then I'll be able to put the cabinet against the wall so that's what we're doing next so I keep catching myself we roll so fast that we don't take you along with us but anyway we marked out the sides of the vent that we're going to put in there. We're, we marked the corners. He's drilling out with a paddle bit, but you can use pretty much anything that you can get a jigsaw bit into or a blade into. And then we'll cut all this out. Uh, he was saying, can you use a sawzall? You can, but it shakes the cabinet pretty rough. There you go. He's... You get it in the corners like that, you can go either direction. Right now we're trying to put in the an enclosure. With the, this doesn't have to look pretty inside there. We just need it to flow air. And... Uh, Oh, Fastening everything, then we'll just put some silicone around it just to keep it kind of airtight. Tap that in that way. Yeah. Okay. Just a second ago. Not gonna put a screw right in this one. Now fit and hold it. No here. Right here. I don't need you. All right, fine. I was just trying to be helpful, man. And now we're going to put this over. I may just go ahead and fasten it to the wall. Let's get a lot of three inch screw right through there. I can see there's yeah, probably the only cabinet in this house that's sturdy. about to fall apart it's been wet so many times okay let's get that top over there Yeah, that's what it was over here. <laughs> but they're going to be happy because she's got it right next to her stove instead of stove being over here where the refrigerator was. And anyway, now we just got to put this little vent. We need to set it out where it'll point upwards, right? upwards ideally. So that would be that way. And put one and five inch screws in it, right? No. Set it in there. Oh, above and beyond what really I should be doing. 
And there it is. So that's where the vent's going to be coming out of it. Was tilted a little bit. Too. One signal top. Maybe the door's out of whack. That's like you're doing it twice. That's okay. I need to practice. <laughs> Definitely the door. There, that track. No, that's the door. All right, next. And she was like worried that she that hemp oil was illegal, but she definitely found out she shouldn't cook food in it and then give it to the kids because they get real happy. <laughs> she didn't know that it wasn't regular oil. Hemp oil is probably good for you if you're dealing with cancer like her, but not necessarily anything else. Let's put the microwave right there and then we'll. Uh, All right. We gotta have